Hi friends, Radhika Lavi Kumar here. So welcome back and let us continue with the SQL tracing. So in the previous tutorial we already created a tracing file for the whatever SQL file SQL uh, queries that we executed. So here is the file. I have copied it from the OS level um, uh, from the OS level to the you know drive that I want. So I've copied it here. Now we need to convert this non-readable uh, format to a readable format. So for that uh, you need to use your tkprof. So for that uh, by using your SQL um, you know SQL plus you won't be able to convert it. For that you need to go to your command prompt. Yeah. So here I have opened my command prompt. What I am going to do is I am just going to say tkprof and then you need to mention the path where exactly you are um, you know the trcl file is there. trc ok then uh, give the path where you want it to be saved so I will just uh, name it as something like new dot txt ok so this is the tkprof this is the utility that is used for uh, converting the non readable uh, trace file into a readable format so this is the path where exactly my dot uh, trc file is there you can see it here then I am going to mm, you know once after the conversion I want it I want the readable uh, uh, file to be saved as new dot txt in my e drive that is it. So enter and uh, you can see here uh, the new dot txt file is created. Now let me open this and you can see that it is in the readable format you can uh, see many things here like uh, like from the beginning from where we started you know alter session set from there it has recorded everything you can see this um, parse execute fetch and all uh, I will try to make a tutorial on this what exactly this parse execute fetch and all means and as well as you can see here count CPU the CPU how much consumption it has taken then elapsed like uh, how many seconds uh, have it taken for the execution of the query or the program PLC code then the disk you can see here what and all the what is this query current rows and all so everything is zero presently because it's like um, it's not in such a uh, you know it doesn't taken much time or else uh, very much of uh, physical reads or uh, or anything so that's why everything is almost zero which is like negligible numbers so let's um, go a little bit uh, down and you can see the queries that we ran like um, you can see here the select star from department uh, department number 20 for that you can see the fetch was two lapse time that is how much time it has taken you can see here it has taken some 0 0.01 seconds uh, to fetch the records and also you can see the CPU consumption CPU in the sense you can if you want to know what exactly this current rows and all means you can go here and see CPU means the CPU time in seconds execution so it hasn't it has displayed um, in zero because it might have taken some you know, microseconds or something so by using this you can analyze a uh, few things like uh, what uh, exactly you know uh, how much uh, good the your program is like how much good in performance is your program so you can see here even the PL SQL program that we ran the procedure is also there so, uh, so this is a this is the uh, file uh, the tracing file same way how you make use of your um, uh, explain plan you can make use of this file in order to know the performance of your programs so hope you have understood this any further queries then please let me know mail me at plsql.informatica.gmail.com and uh, thank you very much for watching